Hello, I'm going to do the Libra Weekly Love Energy for the 16th to the 22nd. And this may or may not resonate with you as this is still a general reading. My intention is for this to be a love reading, but you never know what the cards are going to say. So we're going to pick some Romance Angels and then some Tarot cards. So we have Deception, Let Go of Control Issues, and Trust. Alright, and now we're going to get some Tarot. All right, we have Three of Cups, Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Star card, Strength card, Four of Pentacles, the World, and Eight of Cups. And then we'll get some of these. Six of Cups, Chariot, oh, Nine of Cups again. You got the Wish card twice. Look at that. I haven't seen that before. Justice, Temperance, Six of Wands, let's see, three, three, and then Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and King of Wands. Let me grab my, grab my glasses. All right, so you have a lot of major cards here. And You ended with the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like that represents a couple. I feel like you have a lot of positive energy coming in. You're holding back, but there's good energy that wants to come in for you. All right, let's break this down. All right, so we have deception. That's what I'm not sure of, the deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. We have three of cups, which is a celebration. Um, it also could be um, a love triangle. Two of wands. Initial first steps taken in moving forward. And then Six of Pentacles, which represents sharing. I feel like you might have some thoughts about your partner and you need to discuss that with your partner and that helps you to feel better. Um, that you have some negative feelings towards your partner that you've been holding on to, but I feel like you need to talk with your partner about that. And that helps you to move forward and that, that lifts that, that energy, that burden that's over you. We have Six of Cups, which is um, fond memories of your childhood. So it's a, I feel like after you have this discussion with your partner and you tell them what's been on your mind, I feel like you feel this weight is lifted off you and the two of you get back to where the two of you used to be and you're able to move forward. It could be with a cancer sign and this is what you've wanted is for the two of you to get back to where you used to be because I feel like something happened that's putting a block there. But you've kept it to yourself and you haven't told your partner. But you've just backed away from your partner. Instead of 
dealing with what went on. So I feel like you need to have this conversation with your partner. Whatever this is, maybe you're putting on the deception saying that everything is okay when really everything is not okay with your partner. There's something you have to talk about with your partner. And you're pretending that it's okay when it's really, your partner keeps asking you, oh, is this okay? And you're like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. But really, you're, you're being deceptive because there really is something that's bothering you. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to this one. We have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's saying allow it, allow it, like express yourself and then let the chips fall where they may. Um, stop trying to hold back. Stop trying to say everything is okay when it's not. Again, you have the wish card twice. So I feel like there is a lot of positive energy that wants to come in that you want to get in a better place with your partner. We have the star card, which is the Aquarius card, which represents hope. It represents healing. Um, it's almost like the two cups pouring into one cup. I feel like it's two sides coming back together. Um, and we have the strength card, which represents Leo. So it could be, you have to be strong during this situation. You have to be able to express how you are feeling and stop holding back. Because this is something that has strongly been, been bothering you. And it's just putting a wedge in your relationship. And... That's what you need to work on. All right, we have the Justice card, which is your card. We have Temperance, um, which represents patience. It represents balance. It represents, um, two, I feel like it's, again, two sides. Two waters coming together, flowing naturally. Um, things will flow better. Things will come together once you release this energy that you have. And it will be very successful because you will have released this and felt a lot better that you've done that. And trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith that you're opening up to your partner and you're sharing um, about what's bothering you helps the two of you to be in a more, um, like a, um, a stronger relationship. Again, you're, you are holding back a little, you're a little afraid, you're a little afraid of this, this, you know, positive energy that wants to come in because you just, you're like, well, I've been doing it for this long, I might as well just keep going. But I, again, I feel like this is the wedge that's in your relationship and it keeps building and building and building until eventually it's just going to burst. We have the world card, which represents success. It represents victory. Um, it's something, you know, working towards that it will work out because your partner knows that you're holding back on something and they've maybe they've tried to talk to you about it and you just, you're not acknowledging that. So that's making them feel left out and that's frustrating them, which is putting more negative energy into this relationship. And once you open up to your partner, then they feel better because they feel like you've been able to express with them how you feel. It's about leaving these emotions behind you that are bothering you, um, about expressing them and then leaving them behind and then moving them on, moving on and not bringing that into your relationship any further. Um, Eight of Pentacles is a new way of doing things. So maybe out of all of this, you and your partner decide, okay, if there's something bothering one person, then they need to communicate with the other person so that this does not happen again. And then I feel like this represents um, a couple, um, the King of Wands and Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is very emotional. So this could be very emotional for you. We have King of Wands is somebody who likes to put a plan in place, get things done, move things forward. Let's not stay in this energy anymore. Um, because we've been in this energy long enough. I, f I feel like for some reason, the saying walking on eggshells 
um, seems to be coming to mind. I don't really know why. So maybe that's what you've been doing. Maybe that's what your partner's been doing. Um, and it's been uncomfortable for one or both of you. Let's see, I'm going to shuffle these, but I'm really not feeling those. Let me get um, my angel answers. I feel like it. For some reason, I feel like these are the cards I need to finish out this reading with. Sometimes it's hard, like we don't want to upset our partner. We don't want to upset someone that we care about. We really wonder if our issues are really, you know, are they as big as we're making them out to be? Um, but I definitely feel, again, like this is something that you have been holding on to, you've been thinking about, that you've been kind of dealing with for a long time and it's starting to bubble over. All right, we have, wait, before you express your feelings to your partner, which I had meant to say earlier, is that maybe if you take a paper and you organize your thoughts and you think about what you wanna talk about with your partner first so it doesn't become a defensive conversation. Um, think about what you want to say before you say it so it doesn't become a negative situation. And look at this, peaceful resolution. Perfect. All right. So don't rush into anything. Organize your thoughts. Figure out what you want to say. Um, it may take you a day. It may take you a week. It may take you a month um, to organize your thoughts and then build that up to where you're ready to talk with your partner and I would say go to a place that is um, like equal ground um, someplace different not in your usual place where you always are where that can be a little more defensive I feel like it should be like a neutral ground place where neither party has a, a stronger hold or it's just something, a neutral place. And we have peaceful resolution. I feel like just you expressing this and getting this weight off your shoulders is just gonna help things feel so much better. And you'll be able to move forward from there. And this card was really sticking out. I had my, my cards and I, this, this picture was just sticking out on my cards and I just felt like I needed to Grab it. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right. Perfect. What is causing you to feel this way, to be deceptive towards your partner in saying that everything is fine when everything is not fine? There is something that is bothering you that you need to express to your partner. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.